Ooh, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel where we talk about anime, manga, gaming, and controversial topics in nerd and geek culture. And before I continue, to all those who subscribe, to all those who are supporting this channel, thank you so much. Your support is greatly appreciated. Let's continue building this channel. You guys are awesome. So, once again, I was right. We've been talking a lot about this spicy anime video game that Nintendo at first refused to censor because it was quite obvious what the game was about. The game was about spiciness, about massages, and with massage came, you know, the coming, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. But no, with all seriousness though, we all knew this was gonna happen. When feminists started to get into full rage mode, we knew it was trouble for Nintendo. So here we have it, Massage Freaks. Nintendo's erotic video game, Massage Freaks, has been delayed. And I called it. I said that this game would be delayed because it was impossible for all these complaints from all these raging you-know-whos from not just America, but also from Japan. And Japan being very consumer-friendly, right? and trying to appease as many people as they can they're gonna try to adjust the game <laughs> so everyone could enjoy as much as they can and it's happening in real time before i continue please consider hitting the red subscribe button for more nerd and geek culture content let's get to channel 12,000 subscribers you guys are awesome once again thank you for tuning in follow me on twitter let's continue so the article says the developer Company, um, company Curate announced that it had decided to delay the release of the Massage Freaks <laughs> video game as a result of discussion with stakeholders. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, because that was the only problem. Yeah, I, I don't think that was it. Um, I think it was the fact that the numerous amounts of complaints from raging feminists <laughs> from America and Japan pressured you into probably censoring this video game goes on to say the game was initially scheduled to release for nintendo switch on august 4th the new release date has yet to be determined according to curate's announcement tweet all massage freak pre-orders will be canceled as a result so if you pre-ordered it there you go um in addition the company states that it will proceed to take legal action against the spread of false rumors that obstruct its business or posts on social on social networks that are considered malicious so if you were on social media and you were saying well this game promotes you know s assault or s crimes remember and i was saying remember i was saying this I know y'all remember, I kept saying, y'all yeah, keep saying all this crap about sex crimes and sex assault, when in the video game, anything that happened within the game was consensual. That was the important thing. You guys are just saying and spreading a false narrative, lies about the game, and now if you are spreading such false info, they are coming for your cheeks, <laughs> and rightfully so. And Anything that happens to you, I don't feel bad for you because it is what it is. Let's continue further. In a later update, the company apologized for inadvertently parroting the names of real people on the game's characters. They have confirmed that they have already made changes to the names of the characters. Curate lamented the fact that they had to delay the release even though the game was scheduled to release as planned. They intend to continue to offer content as fans can enjoy while learning of the helplessness they have felt as game developers in this matter this is why the rise of people of like ken akamatsu fighting for more freedom of expression is very important and we also gotta do our part in calling the bullshit out because if you don't like the game if you do not like the game you do not have to buy the game <laughs> if you Saying that the game promotes X crimes or indecent acts, 
within massage parlors. Well, newsflash, okay, indecent acts occur in massage parlors right now as we speak. And this game has zero influence as to that happening right now. <laughs> so, if you want your little Twitter or your Instagram or whatever social media trying to push a narrative, they are coming for the Buchikums and rightfully so. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got. And you know what? It does suck because, in a way, yes, it's fun and we talk about it and it's. But in, 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 at the end of the day, it does kind of suck because we it's a loss for us. You know, we thought we had something that they couldn't get their hands on. It's something they couldn't use their influence to destroy. And it turns out that we were wrong. And that just goes to show you how strong the loudest people in the room can be. Because the, they start complaining and tweeting and... Instagramming and TikToking or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Unfortunately, these big companies listen and us fans lose. But anyway, Sally is all I got for this episode. Not the best of news, unfortunately. Now, keep in mind, like I said, it's not guaranteed they're going to change a lot. But if they're delaying it, we all know for a fact they're going to change a lot of aspects of the game. That way people can enjoy it. Which means less spiciness and so on and so forth. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, all I got for this episode. Like, comment, subscribe, share. If you enjoy my content and want more of this updates in nerd and geek culture content, anime, manga, gaming, please consider hitting the red subscribe button as we keep on calling out stuff like this on a daily basis, Monday through Friday. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you for tuning in and happy Friday. Be safe out there. Peace.